Hey everybody, got another video here for you. Don't try this at home, kids. Uh, hydrogen peroxide and bleach for lightening rosewood fingerboards. This is going to be the fourth treatment for this fingerboard. Let me show you where we're at. This thing was almost ebony black when I started. And that's what it's looking like now. So we take a little hydrogen peroxide and just kind of sprinkle it on. some bleach and stand back. You ready for this? This thing's going to foam up like Alka-Seltzer. This gives off gases, so you definitely want to do this out of doors. Just let that soak for a bit. That should get it one shade lighter.
Okay, it's done shaping except for the headstock and sanding, and that took about four hours. Well, I'm tired, man, let me tell you. Still got to shape this a little bit up here. But other than that, yeah. About ready to cut the headstock out and uh, sand it. Yeah. Time for a break here. So, I got a couple new toys here for the shop couple of uh, Japanese pull saws about 20 bucks a pop on Amazon uh, got a small one here and they're 14 and 17 teeth per inch as I recall both of these are actually this is the large one two-handed for serious cutting work so yeah uh, normally I'd use the jigsaw on this thing but I figured uh, this would be a good opportunity to give these things a, a shot and see how they work out let's see what happens here big saw on the coarse side I'm gonna try to take down this line that runs along the the tuner holes. So let's see, this works backwards from a western saw and supposedly they're easier and more accurate. I've never used one in my life, we'll see what happens. So you push to get it started instead of pulling. And then you pull to cut instead of pushing. seems cut pretty fast. I'd say it's probably as fast as the jigsaw. This is hard maple after all, so yeah. All right, let me hack away at this. I think I'd have to say they're almost as fast as the jigsaw, but definitely a bit more work.
Uh, I think it's time to speed things up here a little bit. So, showing all steps, got the body here, and laid out the leg bar on it at the proper spot, and my center of the leg cutout spot theoretically falls right here, but there's actually no real curve or anything there, which means you're going to be able to slide around to whatever is most comfortable. And uh, so then I set it down with the theoretical leg cutout spot right at the middle of my leg here. And I come up with like here for the end of the bar. And there's my pencil mark. Okay, at uh, this point I think it's ready to go into the paint shop. Uh, there's no thumb screw because it's going to be using the machine screw insert hardware, which means it gets a real machine thumb screw. So, uh, yeah, all this stuff is ready for whatever finish I decide on. I'm thinking about, well, originally this was slated to get just uh, uh, black stain and then clear coat and then have black hardware. So whatever I decide on is going to have to work with black hardware. Um, I'm testing out, hold on a sec. I have some Duplicolor Ford metallic red that I'm testing out to see if it'll get me the, the cracked lightning effect in a red metallic and if it works with clear coat. The stuff's about dry and ready for some clear coat test. But uh, yeah, so that's one option. Another option is a black to red, black cherry burst stain or just going all black stain or maybe even a Shoshogi ban because I just got the torches in for doing that. Uh, Shoshogi Ban and Black Cherry Burst, maybe even. Or Shoshogi Ban and Red. Or uh, I've already got a Shoshogi Ban and Purple plan, so I don't think I'll do that. But, um, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning now towards the, the Black Cherry Burst. So, but that's going to be paint shop action, which is not everybody's cup of tea, shall we say. So, um, I'll leave those details to the next episode. So until then, everybody have a good one. Go make some sawdust.